So you need the spoon. You need the sponge. I don't need this. I need a. I need a cloth. We have to towel. Have to towel. We have to towel. You have two towels. Okay, show me the towels. Second tower and the clothes, which we don't know whether it fits or not anymore, but that's like okay. this much. Okay, put the clothes on the table. Okay. Okay. The most important item. <laughs> and we don't need a sponge. We don't need a sponge. Okay. 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 Uh, and we'll use this for our candle. And Godfather is going to be the Criselas. The Criselas. Stephen. Stephen and, and Julian. Julian. Okay. Come. Huh? Stop here. Very good. Okay. Okay. 
we got oil in there? Yes, sir. Oil? Okay.
and exerting your trenchant might, speedily crush down Satan under his feet, and give him victory over him and over his false spirits, that having obtained mercy from you, he may be made worthy to partake of your heavenly mysteries and may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and until the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Trinity, one in essence, 
and from the fire. Blessed is our God who wills that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the Holy Churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan, the Joseph, our Bishop Nicholas, the Venerable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. That this water may be sanctified with the power and effectual operation and indwelling of the Holy Spirit, that there may be sent into it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan, that there may come upon this water the purifying operation of the supersubstantial Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may be illumined by the light of understanding and piety by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that this water may prove effectual unto the averting of every snare of enemies, both visible and invisible, that Michael Patrick, who is baptized in this water, may be made worthy of the kingdom incorruptible. Let us pray to the Lord. For him who has now come to holy baptism and for his salvation, that he may prove himself a child of the light and an heir of eternal good things, that he may be a member and partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. Then he may preserve his baptismal garment and the earnest of the Spirit pure and undefiled unto the dread day of Christ our God, that this water may be for him a laver of regeneration unto remission of sins and a garment of incorruption, that the Lord will hear the voice of our prayers let us pray to the Lord that he will deliver him and us from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy and active, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other. <coughs> 
and all our life unto Christ our God. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There are no words sufficient to him thy wonders. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There are no words sufficient to him thy wonders. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There are no words sufficient to him thy wonders. For thou, thy own good will, have brought all things into being. And by thy might thou upholdest creation. And by thy providence thou orderest the world. For thou who art God inexpressible and everlasting, descended on earth, taking on the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. For because of the tender compassion of thy mercy, O Master, thou couldst not endure to behold mankind oppressed by the devil, but came and set and saved us. We confess thy grace, we proclaim thy mercy. We do not conceal thy gracious acts. You have delivered the generations of our mortal nature. By your birth, you sanctify the virgin's womb. All creation magnifies you who have manifested yourself. For you, O God, have revealed yourself on earth and dwelt among men. You hallowed the streams of the Jordan, sending down from them, from heaven, your Holy Spirit, crushing the heads of the dragons who lurk there. Therefore, O King, who loves mankind, come now and sanctify this water through the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherefore, O King, who loves mankind, come now and sanctify this water through the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherefore, O King, who loves mankind, come now and sanctify this water through the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Amen. And grant to with the grace of redemption, the blessing of the joy, and make it a fountain of incorruption, the gift of sanctification, the remission of sins the remedy of infirmities, the final destruction of demons, unassailable by hostile powers, filled with angelic might, that those who would ensnare your creature will flee far from it. For we have called upon your name, O Lord, and it is wonderful and glorious and fearful to adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of your cross. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of your cross. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of your cross. And we pray, O God, that every aerial and unseen phantom may withdraw itself from us, and that no demon of darkness may conceal himself in this water. And that no evil spirit which instills darkening of intentions and rebelliousness of thought may descend into it with him who is about to be baptized. But, O Master of all, show this water to be the water of redemption, the water of sanctification, the purification of flesh and spirit, the loosing of bonds, remission of sins, the illumination of the soul, laver of regeneration, the renewal of the spirit, the gift of adoption to sonship, the garment of incorruption, the fountain of life. For you have said, Lord, wash, be clean, Put away evil things from your souls. You have bestowed upon us from on high a new birth through water and spirit. Therefore, O Lord, manifest yourself in this water and grant that he who is baptized in it may be transformed, that he may put away from himself the old man which is corrupt through the lusts of the flesh, that he may be clothed upon with the new man and renewed after the image of him who created him that being buried after the pattern of thy death and baptism, he may in like manner be a partaker of thy resurrection. And having preserved the gift of the Holy Spirit and increased the measure of grace committed to him, he may receive the prize of his high calling and be numbered with the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. In thee, our God and Lord Jesus Christ, for unto thee are all glory, dominion, honor, and worship, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, and then all will be good in life, giving spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord and Master, God our Father, descend unto them that were in the ark of Noah, thy dove, bearing in its beak a 
which we have all of, the token of reconciliation and of salvation from the flood, the foreshadowing of the mystery of grace, providing the food of the all and the fulfilling of your holy mysteries, who thereby fills them that are under the law with your Holy Spirit, perfecting them that are under grace. Bless also this holy oil with the power and operation and indwelling of your Holy Spirit, that it may be an anointing unto incorruption, an armor of righteousness, to the renewal of soul and body, to the averting of every assault of the devil, to deliverance from all evil of those who are anointed with it in faith or who are partakers of it, unto the glory unto your glory and the glory of your only begotten Son and of your all holy and life-saving Spirit, now and ever and through ages of ages. Amen. Let us attend. Alleluia. 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 Blessed is God who illumines and sanctifies every man that comes into the world always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We're going to take off his clothes now and have him come back wrapped in the towel and in his diaper. And then we'll take off his diaper at the last minute. Child of God, Michael Patrick is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit for the healing of soul and body. Amen. Your hands have made and fashioned me Amen. for the hearing of faith. Amen. That he may walk in the path of your commandments. The child of God, Michael Patrick, is baptized in the name of the Father.
Blessed art thou, O Lord God Almighty, source of all good things, Son of righteousness, who sheds forth upon thy light and darkness the light of salvation. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord our God, who through the fulfilling of the baptismal font, by your goodness, sanctifies those that believe in you. Bless this child present here 
and let your blessing descend upon his head. And as you bless the David the king by the hand of your prophet Samuel, bless also the head of your servant Michael Patrick by the hand of me, a sinner, inspiring him with the Holy Spirit, that as he increases in stature even to a ripe old age, he may ascribe glory to you and behold the good things of Jerusalem all the days of his life. For to you are dwell glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The child of God. Name of the Father and of the Son. Hallelujah. As 
Yeah. 